Hello everyone, this is BlackMage86 and I'd like to welcome you back to episode 9 of XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. We ended last episode with a retaliation attack, which we are now going to confront in the sit rep we have a mock squad and also of course all, as always have a chance for the freaking chosen to show up most of my main team is out on injuries Bring you, move you, bring you. Do I have a specialist that is available? Do a specialist available? Actually, let's back up. I need another. Need get another specialist training. And a rookie. Specialist. Do I call her any combat tactics? I do not. Okay, now we're back to hitting the mission. Don't like the flamethrowers. Two more medkits. Everybody gets a stinking medkit. Leave you with a grenade. Leave you with a grenade. And you get nano scale and medkit. Let us Come on. make weapons available. So somebody should have one with a hair trigger. Simply 5% chances, but might as well have them on something. outpost with everything they've got and our people don't stand a chance against them we're heading in to secure the area eliminate all enemy contacts mm -hmm. operation swamp god uh, something haven constance haven resistance haven duh humanity bridge western united states
Dennis 1-5, hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Admin Roger came in that. Hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Advent troops here. Next to the coin. Put him down. Ah, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, resist. That's not good. So you get it up there on a higher position, but there's no cover, so. At least two troopers. On my way. Moving out. And there's a mock here. squad. Affirmative. the mock squad. Good copy. Moving on target.
Come on. Nice. Ah. Oh, no, that was the civilian. Damn. Thought the advent were shooting at him. An AP. I down. Excellent. Target down. Can I get an evac here? <laughs> Interesting. Bring in the evac. Well, I don't like that ability. Finally connected. Target disabled. I'm out of firepower over here. Good to go. Roger that. Should be more advent back that way. Yeah.
What are you doing? That didn't feel good. No. That's what you're doing. I wish you would quit. Oh, that's crap. You get to make the attack, then evac. Must be some way to route a specific direction, but I'm not sure what. Love the shields on the biotics.
put him down. I should take out the Psy Zombie. It's a heck of a hit. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Target eliminated. Great on civilians. Commander, the aliens have slaughtered the resistance here. We can't let them get away with this. Menace 1 5. We have to get control of the situation and take out those hostiles. Enemy eliminated. Dead in the water here. Just shoots. Hostile neutralized. Oh, I only rescued three civilians out of thirteen. That was pretty horrible. hand I really don't Next like the mock squads claimed the lives of another frontier settlement earlier today advent officials believe it was a dispute over resources citizens are advised to avoid all contact with the criminal organization man their news reporters are almost as realistic as real news reporters anyways uh, one hand really don't like the mock squads because they are difficult on the other hand, they're difficult, so I kind of like that added difficulty. Trick. Step. 
battle medic. I need more battle medics. And for you, we're gonna take Shredder. What is this? Huh. And Bond available? Uh, Ranger and a Grenadier. It's not a bad pair to have bonded. Let's confirm a bond. Custom picture. Five civilians. Combat chips. Hello. Some other stuff. Uh, let's see. And I need about a minute. So apologies for this, but I don't want to cut the video quite yet. So be back in one minute. Advance officers might be more resourceful than your average trooper, but I doubt our forces will have any trouble bringing in a test subject for Tigan to look at. Especially since he's not asking for a live one. There's not a whole lot that surprises me these days, but I'm definitely curious to see if the chip we pulled from the commander really is connected to the ones Advent's been using in their captains. Okay, I am back. So, we need... Yes. Okay, I need more course. engineers. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting than the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however... The Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. New objective added. 
Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. <laughs> I don't have sparks yet. So let's do some instance. The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city center. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Although Advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers, it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. These robotic units, developed by Advent, seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Good choice. Has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. that I had assumed you'd make that research a priority commander I'll notify you as soon as the report is available just give the word and I'll get started commander commander the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar project if we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I can't wait to hear what excuse my people come up with for having let Advent get the jump on them. Would you honestly expect to operate in the shadows while I still move among the living? Hmm. Well, let's see if I can't get this done in this episode. Begin rescue. If it ever loads. Come on.
You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Location confirmed. One, your team is compromised. We're picking up Advent Response Forces inbound on your position. Overwatch. Good copy. Moving on target. I'm on it. I'm going. Got it covered. What is dropping in? Officer and Ray Grunt. I've got eyes on Advent Troops! <laughs> Entirely sure what rupture is. It is it clear? I'm on it. One down, thousands to go. Moving to position. Affirmative. Covering now. Getting it done. Move, move, move.
Ready there. Take a shot. Big deal. Weapons empty. Can't engage. Reloaded. Moving to designated coordinates. Alien activity. Lost activity. that they I don't know if they failed the mission or what running but that they are uh, on the move they have to do an extract Overwatch. what's over there moving to overwatch Readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. Stepping off. Kill. Evac confirmed. Getting out of here. I'm out of here. And that's mission. It was fairly short. So let's see what the results of the mission are. As annoying as the assassin is, the Templar one is going to be a major pain in the ass. But, 
the only real reason the assassin's so annoying is because she doesn't trigger Overwatch. The other two don't also have that ability. Should be a lot better. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Let's keep it up, Commander. Excellent. So be nice. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Lord. Influence with Phantom Seekers increased. Our intel on the Chosen is getting more detailed every day. You're starting to win over my people, Commander. And that says something. Nice. For some additional work, if you've got any orders for us, Ooh. our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. I don't have anybody that's a lieutenant yet. Could get some supplies. Could get some alien loot. Increase. Ooh, I like that. So of the ones available. underway commander it will take some time to complete so uh, I got 28 supplies and I'm gonna recruit from right they cost 25 so these discoveries of the elders horrific experiments on our people should come as no surprise but that does not make them any less unsettling. As we have seen, they would take not only our power and our world, but the essence of our very being as well. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. I like that the people are wandering around in different areas. We've done what we can areas. to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. 
It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. Oh, that's cool. The aliens Some of the posters show up. always tell you otherwise, but this is the true voice of the Resistance, bringing you the real news about the latest victory over the invaders. We're getting stronger every day, and XCOM is making that happen. Nice. So, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. So I'm going to end this video here, and please come back next time for more XCOM 2, or The Chosen.